So as some of you may know, I recently did a little bit of a fundraiser. It was a good time. Some people are steaming mad, you know? Real, real mad. Let's take a look. From the nationally acclaimed National Telegraph, very wonderful news outlet here. They always use this picture of me. Naive left-wing streamer indirectly fundraised $286,069 for Hamas. Written by John Holm. No doubt a very upstanding pillar of uh, media credibility here. Vosh, a self-described anti-fascist YouTube and Twitch streamer, held a live stream on May 17th to raise funds for a charity operating in Gaza. That's true. He announced on Twitter the next day that after 27 hours of live streaming, oh, they rounded up. It was 26 and a half, actually. His channel managed to raise a number which isn't the same as the number they list in the title. It seems like a little confusing. I know the PayPal fees cut in, but I don't know why they would list two different numbers. Vosh, during the stream, spoke with the org's founder and is confident in the value of his work. Damn, they're plagiarizing me. Since the end of the live stream, it has been re-uploaded in shorter segments. Oh, that's nice. They actually edited this. The original um, version of this article just said, since the end of the live stream, it has been unlisted. They didn't say that it has been re-uploaded in shorter segments. The original one said it had been unlisted, which A, I do to every stream. B, is accessible in a listed playlist. And C, the whole thing was on Twitch anyway. <clears throat> then we have this wonderful photo of me. The money went to the... <clears throat> Excuse me. God. I'm just choking up over here with how sincere this, uh, <clears throat> this condemnation is about to be. The money went to the charity, the Palestine... Um, it's Palestine at Children's Relief Fund, not Palestinian. Uh, in Gaza, an organization that describes itself as creating, quote, Centers for Healthcare for Children with Cancer. Built in the... That's not all they do? Built in the territory of Gaza, currently governed by the internationally known and Iranian-backed terrorist organization, Hamas. This means even if every single cent raised was used indeed to fund healthcare for children because Hamas governs the territory, they can then redirect the money they would have used for healthcare into more rockets and pay-for-slay programs. There we go, people. Indirectly fun ways for Hamas. The evidence we have, um, well, they're in Gaza, <clears throat> and Hamas is in Gaza, and like, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, they'd like take it or something. The issue with sending money to any territory currently held by an enemy state is that all the provided funds contribute to prolonging their rule, whether directly or indirectly. Well, hold on now. Wait. Doesn't that mean that if you're a gover you're a conservative and you hate the government, that if you like pay out NRA like membership dues, that you're paying to the government? What? Wait. First of all, Hamas isn't a state. Um, second of all, w wouldn't this argument be anytime any money changes hands within America, you're giving Biden money? Like, don't they call Biden like an enemy? Right? If Biden's the head of state here in America, like. Oh, sure, you donated money to your local, like, libertarian, like, doomsday prepper guild. Ah, well, actually, you're giving money to buy- Give me that, Jack! Yeah, exactly. That's mine. Uh, so, yeah. So, guys, this is a general rule. Whenever a person, um, makes a claim like this in the title, and then uses this kind of logic in the body, that means they have no actual evidence, all right? PCRF offices were being used by Hamas earlier this May for targeting Israeli citizens during the firing of over 3,300 uh, 3, rockets. No. What? Can I get a source on that? We have, um, we, we have an IDF tweet about something unrelated. Love a citation on this one. If it weren't for the Iron Dome, the Israeli anti-missile defense system put in place under U.S. President Obama, the entire country would have been wiped out. Oh my god, dude. Holy, I had no idea that Israel was that weak. That if it weren't for the Iron Dome specifically, the Hamas rockets would have been able to level, I guess, the Hamas nuclear armament. I mean, I, mean, I, I know rockets blow up and it's bad, but like, it would have been wiped out? You fucking joshing me over here? You, you giving me a fit? Gonna give me some giggles? And the majority of the casualties would have been Israeli c civilians. If it weren't for the Iron Dome, Hamas would storm over the weak and defenseless Israel. <laughs> Christ. The charity's founder, Steve Sosby, at one point retweeted someone pr uh, promoting Vosh's fundraiser, who included among his various hashtags, hashtag defund the IDF, based. 
And PCRF has also put out tweets claiming Gaza is under attack. Oh, oh no. As if the IDF were performing strikes in an offensive to take the territory and not just to retaliate against Hamas militants firing their own rockets into Israel. Yeah. The IDF using offensive military capabilities to take territory? That's not... We talking about the same IDF over here? No, the IDF I know would never do that. What? 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 Come on. As, as we all know, uh, Israel has, since its, since its presence in the Middle East, been engaged exclusively in a defensive war, which they have never taken territory from. Come on. Um, <laughs> we have him giving me a heart. Oh, here, wait, the PayPal fee difference has been explained. So to be retweeted Vosh on May 19th, where Vosh stated that after PayPal fees, the totally raised was actually to the number, but that Vosh should be paying the difference himself. True, with my big boy streamer bucks. Stay mad. All right. On May 17th, Israel surgically struck many areas in Gaza where Hamas was known to be operating in an effort to stall rocket attacks. In the Among those targets was the office building of the PCRF. Dog, we've actually reached the meme. How do we know that the PCRF worked with Hamas? Because Israel airstriked them. The funny thing is, the PCRF was just a um was just a um what's what's the term? A casualty, a um uh um uh what's the called blank damage? It starts with a C collateral damage, yeah. Um, the PCRF wasn't actually directly struck. The Ministry of Health building across the street was attacked. The PCRF got level two because Israel's rockets are better than Hamas's rockets. So not only, <clears throat> not only is this article lying, they're lying about information that you could find from the IDF. The PCRF was not among the um, listed targets by the IDF. It was the Ministry of Health building. They don't even get that right. They literally just assume that because PCRF's offices were leveled, there must have been Hamas there. We're literally like post hoc, um, like, oh, their building got low. Oh, yeah, well, of course, there was just known Hamas presence there. Yeah, obviously. No research done, factually lying. I mean, directly, provably, correctly lying. And it goes on. I mean, we can. So Sabine is tweet neglects to mention why the IDF would have been targeting the building. They didn't target the building! As if Israel had simply decided to strike the building out of some spite for children, which is clearly not what's going on. Oh! Well, why did they hit the building, Mr. Sosby? Is it just because they hate all life? No, clearly that can't be the case. It must have been because Hamas was operating out of there. Is there any evidence of any of the targets hit had Hamas? I don't know, I haven't looked into the Ministry of Health claim, but the fact that these fucking ass clowns are willing to blame the presence of Hamas when there wasn't even a target on the building they're referring to proves that it's a moot point. Hamas is a ghost to them. It's an ephemeral spirit that exists in the buildings that Israel decides to airstrike. It exists after the building is airstruck, okay? That's why. It's meaningless. It doesn't matter whether Hamas is there or here, and it's why you should always be a little bit skeptical of the human shield claims. Not that Hamas doesn't use human shields. They fucking do, and it's not good. It's very, very bad. But they'll say that about anything. Anything. It's like that meme, that comic meme. Oh, there was a Hamas base inside that child's skull. You know, you should be thanking us for clearing it out. Like, it's, it, it doesn't matter. You can't keep using Hamas as an excuse when you'll just lie about Hamas being anywhere at any time. You know? Absolutely meaningless. Spectacular stuff, really. Uh, should I sue for slander? Or libel, it would be, for the written form. No. Because unfortunately, in the United States of America, there's a very high bar you have to pass when it comes to lying about public figures, which I undeniably am. Uh, should, we th should we say very performatively while jerking ourselves off, uh, if you were worth my time, I would be suing you right now. My lawyers would be up your ass. You'd be up the litigation. For years, I'd bankrupt you. Your children will be going to school in cardboard boxes, etc., etc. Well, that's a little horrible. The children shouldn't have to suffer for the sins of the parents, right? Well, there we go. We've done our little performative. We've done our little, our little, our, our little song and dance. Anyway, uh, people were actually sharing this on Twitter, which is, you know, my fave. 
Here we have resident coward and dipshit Elijah Schaffer. This is the fuckwad uh, who brought me on for a 2v2 panel, didn't tell me I couldn't live stream it, had it with me, and then didn't tell me I couldn't upload it, and then copyright strike me, putting my channel in jeopardy after I uploaded it. So I told him he was bullshitting, uh, counterclaimed, waited for them to sue me, and then he didn't. He never responded to the counterclaim. He knew he had no case, so he waited out 10 days till it dropped. No fucking balls. Absolute piece of shit. Coward little fuckwad. Who I could totally beat up IRL, by the way. Not that I ever would. Just to further emasculate. Easily, in fact. With both my hands behind my back. But I never would. But it could happen. Hypothetically. Um, yeah, here's that picture of me again. Picture of me right next to a swastika, by the way. Very nice. Antifa raises money to fight the Jews. By the way, I don't want to scroll through all of this because Twitter drama is, I'm feeling it's coming increasingly beneath me, but if you want to scroll through this tweet, you can find some people who are truly living in an alternate reality right now. There are people in here, I'm not joking about this, by the way, there are people in this Twitter thread, okay, who are speculating whether the feds will confiscate my charity money for connections to terrorism. I need you to think about how isolated from reality you need to be to arrive at that conclusion, okay? I need you to truly think what kind of Odyssean mind journey you're on, okay? How many leagues away? You can't even see your mind past the horizon, all right? Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. You ratioed him, by the way? Yes, which means we have achieved socialism. Nicely done, people. Anyway, as I point out underneath this in the Twitter thread, not only does the PCRF have absolutely no ties to Hamas, they also have a perfect accountability and transparency rating, which is incredibly rare. And additionally, the PCRF is approved on the combined federal campaign. That's a government website that makes it easy for federal employees to donate to charitable causes out of their income. The U.S. government has approved the existence of the PCRF. How do you, I, I, don't, I don't know how much more direct you can get with this. I mean... There's a reason why I chose this charity. They're as uncontroversial as you can get. You ever hear anyone talking about this, by the way? So the U.S. government's funding Hamas? Probably. Anyway, um, the one talking point you might hear from this, let me prepare all of you for my, my legions when you, when you uh, defend me on social media, okay? I love you guys for it, by the way. Thank you. Just have this talking point in mind, okay? Um, there is one little kerfuffle Hold on. PCRF Gaza. Let's go to Wikipedia, okay? This is the one thing on Gaza's, uh, on PCRF's permanent report card, okay? The one single thing. Attempted donation by the Holy Land Foundation. To make a long story short, the Holy Land Foundation was a Hamas adjacent organization that had their funds frozen by the U.S. government because they were associated with Hamas. Then, after that freeze, they attempted to donate $50,000 to the PCRF, one-sixth of what we managed. And then, you know what happened? The U.S. Treasury Department approved the transaction. That's it. The, the, the U.S. government looked at the donation and said, okay, that's the one thing we're talking about right now. But the PCRF rejected it, no. Um, no, I'm pretty sure they accepted it. Why wouldn't they? It's $50,000 they can use to help, like, kids with their legs blown off by fucking IDF airstrike missiles. Yeah, take the money where you can get it, right? Also, for God's sake, the U.S. Treasury Department approved it. I mean, this is hardly illicit funny money. Also, $50,000 out of the uh, Holy Land Foundation. Probably better that it goes to, uh, humanitarian causes than whatever the fuck else they were spending that money on. But the claim, the claim that the PCRF is uh, Hamas adjacent or that money gets funneled to Hamas, there is literally zero evidence of that. I mean zero, none, nada, absolutely none. This was under the Bush admin, right? Yeah, this approval took place under the Bush administration, for fuck's sake, and they still approved it. God, almighty. Yeah, this was the thing Deepak brought up when he saw it on his live stream. Anyway. Long story short, the moral of this story is, um, I don't know, haters gonna hate? Mulder's molding? 
I don't know. Don't they have full transparency reports of what they do with the money? Yeah, yeah. 100%. You can go on their website. Here, hold on. PCRF charity. Let's... So you go to uh, pcrf.net. Nice. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Where is it here? Our recent achievements. About us. Annual reports. And then here's every finance report going back to 1999. 2020 annual report. Look at this. It's even made pretty. This is a highly professional and well-organized outlet. Look at this. They even list the individual number of people that get every type of service they provide. I mean, Christ. You will not see a greater degree of transparency in any charity on the planet. Okay? Seriously. This is absolute top-notch. Which is, again, why I chose them. 